There will be a total solar eclipse in the United States of America on August 21st, 2017. This eclipse will be total in a narrow strip of land stretching from Oregon to South Carolina. Outside this path of totality, the eclipse will be partial and the sun will be blocked out by at least 70%. This event will give us the opportunity to watch a unique, fascinating, and unforgettable spectacle. But beware, even with more than 70% of its surface covered, the sun can cause permanent and irreversible retina burns if viewed with the naked eye or without adequate eye protection. Even when partially eclipsed, the sun should never be viewed with the naked eye or through makeshift filters. Never use several pairs of sunglasses on top of each other. Negatives of photos, medical x-ray films, or compact discs. It is therefore necessary to wear special eclipse glasses, which are new and not scratched or damaged, or to use certified solar filters and instruments. However, as we will see in this video, it's also possible, using simple cooking utensils, to safely and indirectly view the fraction of the solar disk obscured by the moon. Let's see the shadow produced by a skimmer on a sheet of paper or white screen when there is no eclipse. If we move the skimmer away from the screen, we can see that each hole will form an image of the sun, which will of course be perfectly round. But if we repeat the operation during an eclipse, when a fraction of the solar disk is obscured by the moon, we distinctly see the solar crescent shape, which is characteristic of a partial eclipse. This is a direct application of an optical phenomenon involving a pinhole or small opening. This experiment can also be carried out with a colander. The mesh of a vegetable blender. or even a cheese grater. You can even use a sheet of paper pierced with one or more holes. This experiment is very simple to carry out and the result is surprising. Binoculars can also be used to project the sun's image onto a support. Binoculars must never be used, however, to view the sun directly. You don't have any special glasses or cooking utensils? No problem. You can simply look at the ground under a tree. The pinhole optical effect is produced by the spaces between the leaves and you'll see the distinctive crescents of the eclipsed sun. You can also simulate the tree's leaves by interlacing the fingers of both hands. The sun's crescents will be projected on the ground. Strictly adhere to all these safety instructions in order to make the most of the fascinating spectacle offered by this total eclipse of the sun.